Today is Fun Friday, and you know what that means. It's time to talk about serious topics with a touch of fun with our friend, comedian and licensed therapist, Ponsier. She is here this morning joining us. Always good to have you. We missed you last week. I was about to say, yeah. Yes, I missed you all as well. I was at an educational summit presenting on a mental health initiative that I am establishing with the rural county school system. So that presentation went very well and I'm so happy to be here today. Well, that's a good excuse to miss the show. Yes. Uh, yes. Let's go ahead and yeah. put it down. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. So well, I had well, a great excuse. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, today's topic we all, you know, probably have been here, but what to do when you feel like quitting? Yes, yes, this is a very important topic because we all feel like quitting from time to time, or at least at some point in our, sure. in our lives, we felt like quitting, maybe while we were in pursuit of a lifelong goal or a dream. And then there are other times in which we feel like quitting when the pressures of life seem overwhelming. And I think for many of us, we have to think about it in terms of for every successful person you know, they have always had a moment where they felt like quitting, especially when they weren't receiving the support or their resources were limited. Maybe they were met with a series of rejections, but because they persisted, they end up creating inventions. They created different paths for others to embark on, and they came out with life-changing, I would say life-changing What's the word I'm looking for? Results. Yeah, life-changing results because they persisted and they overcame every obstacle and challenge that was put in their way. And you know, you 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 just said some words: obstacles, mm -hmm. challenges, not yes. problems. Yes. You just it's it's the way you look at it. But there are some obviously some some I guess common ground items or things that people are more likely to try to give up or quit on. What are some of those? So I actually asked this question on Facebook last night and we received so many responses. And so I'm gonna share some oh of them, boy. but the number one response was, people feel like quitting their jobs. I do understand that. <laughs> There has been many times that I've quit in my mind, mm -hmm. but I was motivated to go back to work because of the bills. Yes, <laughs> bills and mortgages will keep you motivated to return to work. <laughs> so some of the other responses were people have felt like quitting on their businesses. People have felt like they want to quit and give up on their ministries. Some people want to give up on their relationship and or marriages. And some people have felt like giving up on the dating pool and their love life <laughs> or lack thereof. Mm -hmm. Sounds like they're just going to have to go ahead and settle down and get married. Yes, <laughs> but you have to be careful. Settle. <laughs> you know, you have to right. weigh your yeah. options. Make and, good choices. Yeah, make good choices. Way. And I think sometimes we have to know what to quit and what to pursue when it comes to relationships. Exactly. So is there ever a right time to quit on something? I believe that there is a right time to quit on some things. I think that you have to see if it serves a purpose for you if this is something that, because sometimes you have to revisit your why. And now you have to ask yourself, is this something that is now important to me? And there are some things that you need to quit, maybe put a pause on if it's causing you emotional distress or it's causing you to be out of balance for a long time. And especially if it is damaging or having an impact on your emotional or mental well-being. So if those aren't some of the things that are, that are affecting you right now, what are some things you can do or, or feel mm -hmm. to avoid the not quit phase? Well, I'm not sure that you can always avoid the temptations to quit. I think that there are some things that you can do to press through and move towards your goals or whatever you're working towards. So I would say revisit and really think about your why. You need to have a strong reason for why you even got started. Think about what your values are, because when you know your why, it serves as a compass. It actually then helps you to do things from an intrinsic motivation. Also, I would say take the time out to get quiet and to maybe take a different approach. Sometimes when you're working towards things and you're not getting the outcome that you had expected, sometimes you have to take a different strategy or approach and maybe use different systems. Oftentimes, what I have found to be helpful in my personal life is seeking out advice and or support from others. Maybe if it's regarding a business situation, talk to other people that are in business. Maybe if it's a relationship issue or something that's more sensitive, maybe seek out um, therapy, but I do believe that oftentimes the answers are around us. 
also we have to develop a mindset that says I will not quit. Oftentimes when we're in situations we think I can't do this, this is too hard, I don't have what it takes. You have to retrain your brain. Oftentimes I say I can do this, I will do this, I have what it takes, I do not believe in defeat, and if there is somebody that can do it, I can. So you oftentimes have to challenge your own mindset. Oh, I love that. And I feel like we talked about this mm -hmm. one time with you, but that's positive self-talk. Mm -hmm. And sometimes Absolutely. we can beat ourselves up yes. and lead us into quit, but sometimes absolutely. we need to pause and change our thinking. Yes, absolutely, absolutely, okay. because it's difficult. There are times where one person shared, they felt like giving up on life when they lost their son tragically. And their children was their motivation. And so oftentimes we have to, if you're a person of faith, you have to really tap into your spiritual practices. You have to pray. You have to seek out support from clergymen. Sometimes you have to engage in meditation and worship, but everybody has to figure out what is my reason for living and know that you all serve a purpose. And so I want someone out there that is listening, please don't give up. We need what you have, we want what you have, and you are a difference maker and a life changer. Great Aww. way to kick off your weekend right there. Really good Thank words. You. Mm -hmm. Thank quit. you. All right, Pontier, thanks tomorrow. Check it out, Pontier Show on Facebook.